I finally found them. Hey everyone, it's me, Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll and toy related videos multiple times every week. And in today's video, it is time for the long anticipated Strawberry Shortcake and Rainbow Bright unboxing videos. So these are made by a company called The Loyal Subjects who has done some doll stuff before, but this is definitely their biggest step into the doll world. And I'm so, so excited to see that it is with a revival of Strawberry Shortcake and Rainbow Bride. So right now there are three dolls that you can get a hold of relatively easily, which are Strawberry, Strawberry with her playset, which I did not end up purchasing, and Rainbow Bright. So eventually there will be more, and if you want to see an in-depth look at those dolls, check my Toy Fair vlog. I'll link it in the description. I show every character in both of these ranges so you know what to expect next. So in this video, I'm going to unbox both of these with you guys. I'll give you my first impressions, although note that I have held them before at Toy Fair, but we'll see how they've changed. And then I will flip the camera around and we'll do a really in-depth look, really close up of the dolls, and we'll compare them to the originals, or in this case, this reproduction of an original. Uh, so I cannot wait to get started. These are so cool. I feel like I must be misremembering something because I attended a toy press event where these were unveiled for the first time, which is Sweet Sweet, in July of last year. And I swear the reps told me these would be $20 each. I don't know what changed, but these I got at Walmart the other day for $12.97. If you want to skip the unboxing part where we're just going to be kind of chatting, it's going to be more informal, check the timeline below and you can skip around. Anyway, we're going to start with Miss Strawberry Shortcake because I am so sorry to say it, but I think I'm more excited about the Rainbow Bright lineup. I don't know which of these series is my true favorite. I only have one Rainbow Bright doll from the original set, but I have a lot of Strawberry Shortcake dolls. Uh, so maybe it's the newness of the Strawberry Shortcake lineup for me. Sorry, I dropped something and I realized this was an unboxing gimmick where you're supposed to open these little doors. So sorry for not doing that, but here's the surprises. Surprise! <laughs> um, anyway, I think the newness of having Rainbow Bright dolls, because this is my only one right now, um, might be like enough of a novelty that I'm more excited for them. I'm not really sure. I also just really like Rainbow Bright, uh, but I think Strawberry Shortcake is awesome too, but Strawberry Shortcake hasn't gone anywhere, kind of. There's kind of consistently been a Strawberry Shortcake series every certain amount of years. Okay, that scared me so bad because her legs fell off <laughs> and I was like, uh, is my doll broken? But no, look, it's a joint that you can pop back into place, but that did scare me. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so let me fix that. This is why we do the unboxings together in case something weird happens like that. Um, but yeah, it just pops right back on and then we are all set. So, oh my god, she's so cute. This is a basic fun reproduction of the original ones by Kenner, but I picked this one because I do have the original strawberry, but her clothes aren't super perfect, so I figured that this would be the better option. Uh, she also comes with little stickers, which are super fun. Yay. So we'll look at those up close later. They are extremely cute. They're the original artwork. And it just says C Shortcake. Like, the, the copyright is Shortcake. Is that... Is that legit the copyright holder name? Like, how, how does that work? Whatever. Anyway. Um, <laughs> surprises. We'll do, we'll do it correctly on Rainbow Bright, okay? Anyway. We have a strawberry comb. A strawberry hairbrush. And these are not themed after the original combs or anything. Uh, we do have Custard, who is so cute. Adorable. And then, what is this? Oh, well, we have a strawberry shortcake. So we'll look at all of that up close later. I was supposed to land on the floor, but it just didn't. Um, anyway, so the thing that really baffles me about these dolls is because I knew they were going to be pretty affordable. I, again, I thought they were going to be $20 each. I don't I don't know where I got that from. Maybe I just filled that into my head because these dolls are really, really articulated and we'll look at it up close later, but they have action figure style articulation where it like clicks into place and everywhere that they could articulate is articulated. You just have to find the actual joint. And some of them are more clicky joints than others. It's not a click joint like a Barbie, but they definitely have like set spots that they want to get to, uh, like this knee. It moves in a very specific way. It's something you got to feel if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and the the box boasts that they have 29 points of articulation. And I've just been really confused about where that number came from. So I guess we'll find out. I assume they're counting double joints. Uh, but you can see she's relatively similar in height to the original. Pretty similar colors. Everything going on there. With Rainbow Bright, which this is not your main Rainbow Bright doll. The main Rainbow Bright dolls, I don't have any. It looked something like this. This is the reproduction that the Loyal Subjects is making. But you know, <laughs> um, they look like that. So this is something all new. 
anyway, um, ooh, I forgot we were going to do the doors. So let's do the surprise doors. So this is what the packaging looks like. And you can see it does advertise the other characters. So there were two different versions of Lala Orange that I saw. So I'm wondering if there's like multiple different outfits that they come with or what's going on with that. I didn't ask and I should have because I didn't I didn't really notice it as much in the moment and I noticed it more after and then I forgot to ask them about it. Uh, but look at them down there. So cute. And with Strawberry, again, I show all of the actual prototype dolls pretty close up in my Toy Fair video, but you can see there's Lemon Meringue, Orange Blossom. They're so cute. Everybody's here. Well, not everybody, obviously, but like a good chunk of the original ones. And it tells you even what's inside, what your surprises are going to be. All right, now let's get Rainbow Bright's accessories out of here. So... These are pretty difficult to push in, especially because I would assume you do it up here, but I don't know. That didn't work well for me. Okay, we have her comb, which this is my only original one, and I thrifted her, so is this the original comb? I don't know. Um, cute. Okay, we'll look at that up close later. There's nothing else in here, so it is really hard to do the perforation, but that's a good thing, right? They won't be falling out of the store. Okay, <gasps> Oh, so I bet um, Lala Orange comes with some, like, extra outfit situation. Because look. Or is this her skirt? Yeah, she comes with a little rainbow skirt. Cute. An extra fashion accessory on a doll this articulated for $12.97 is blowing my mind a little bit. See, I've been, like, excusing so many, like, budget weirdness things from smaller or from larger companies that have way more resources and can produce on a much more mass scale and have, like, a good rapport with the stores so they're able to get better deals and stuff so then when I see something like this my whole worldview is shifted where I'm like uh <laughs> so I'm really excited that all these smaller companies are um getting into doing dolls and stuff now and making it into big box retailers because I'm really excited to see how that shifts the I don't know the doll industry in general probably won't do anything but I will appreciate it and I will enjoy the dolls so um we will be redacting this lovely character's name uh, but here's a Sprite purse. <laughs> and then we have, which I think these had come with little plushies of the Sprites or something. So they weren't going to do that. Like, that's fine. And then this one I remember having seen at Toy Fair, or not Toy Fair, but um, Sweet Sweet for the first time. I thought it was so cute. It's a little like thermos lunchbox. Because these were really popular at the time. Oh, can you not open it? That's a choice if you can't open it. I don't think you can. All right, I thought maybe you couldn't open it because the material felt weird and it was really tight, but I managed to open it. I saw that the hinge looked like an actual hinge. So it's themed after a little thermos lunchbox. I wish it came with the actual little thermos thing, but for $12.97, no problem. For $20, maybe. I would want that. Uh, but this is so cute. The material is so interesting. I don't know how to describe it. It's very uh, interesting. Tactile. Uh, okay, now we've got all the accessories out. So it's time to free... Miss Rainbow Bright! Ah, I'm so excited! So, I actually have the most recent attempt to bring back Rainbow Bright, and I'll bring them over, actually. I didn't think about it. Um, I think those were 2012. I sometimes have the date wrong. It might have been 2009. But anyway, I, I love those. I think they're awesome, but they're definitely weird for Rainbow Bright. I think that this is much cuter and more faithful, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Okay, so here, adorable little sticker sheet. And... I don't know. I think it's so fun to come with a sticker sheet. I prefer a glitter sticker always, but I don't know. I just think coming with a sticker sheet, never a bad thing. Give me a sticker sheet. It's fun. Okay. And here is Miss Rainbow Pride. Her face is so cute. So to me, based on the art style of the show, uh, and I'll show you her up close later, but like this really captures that look perfectly, like the chubby cheeks and everything. I do think that they, oh, they don't share a face sculpt. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> I don't know. My brain warped some things because it's been since October that I held these in my hands and I've been sitting there waiting for, a, for my chance to own them and it's finally here. Extremely soft nylon hair. I can tell that from a mile away. With strawberry, I was pretty sure it was nylon, but I couldn't confidently say. Oh my gosh. Y'all are so cute. And, okay. I forgot to do this at Sweet Sweet. <laughs> strawberry smell. Definitely different from the strawberry smell that I'm used to, but you can kind of get a hint of it. Not as strong as I'd honestly expect, but I can smell it. This one, much stronger and much more of that like signature scent. This one, it's there. It's just not super uh, in your face. Those 80s ones must have been the most potent smell. I've never smelled them new, obviously. I was born in 1999, but like 
mine still smell. And I've cle like I've washed them without even thinking about the scent, and then I'm done, and I'm like, oh no! But no, you can still smell it. They it is powerful smell. Okay, let's turn the camera around and get a closer look at our cute new dolls. All right, my friends, here are our players. So this is the original vinyl body doll from I just found out she's from 2003, so I've had that very wrong. So anyway, this one's the I think 2009 one, and then this is our 2024 one. So our vinyl doll situation for rainbow bright i just conveniently happen to have like all of them except the weird 90s ones um late 90s ones and then we have from strawberry shortcake i do have the original again but i i don't know i just felt like this was a better comparison here we've got the basic fun version from i don't even know when not that long ago uh, maybe like within 10 years from today i think <laughs> and then we have the brand new one and the accessories which i believe are surprise packaged i remember them saying something about that at toy fair so for what I got. If yours are different, it's because there seems to be like a surprise element to it. I don't know. I'm loving the skirt though. I assume that's probably consistent, but I don't know. There's the stickers, the comb, and the purse, which is super cute. And then for Miss Strawberry over here, we've got custard. I would have been so sad if they didn't come with their pets, so I'm so glad that they do. And looks great. Very, very cute. I like that She's a hard figure, adorable. We've got a strawberry shortcake. I'm thinking this could have been the basket. If I'm right, I'm not sure. A strawberry comb. This is extremely cute. A strawberry purse. I really like the little purses that they come with. I think they're really fun. And then the absolutely precious artwork. First, let's take a look at Strawberry. I feel like most people are more excited about the Strawberry Shortcake range in this lineup. I honestly, again, think that I'm more excited for Rainbow Bright, but I also very much love Strawberry Shortcake, and I think this is such a cute interpretation. A lot of people have issues with the original one's faces, which do look almost like this, um, just because there's not as much detail to the eyes. I personally love this. I think it really helps them stand out and be very unique dolls, but I, I get it. It's not for everyone, and these are pretty faithful while still giving more like life to the eyes. I don't know. Um, so I approve of this. I think it's very cute. There's been plenty of reproductions such as this one, even recently, um, to pick from. So I like that this has something fresh to the face while still being relatively similar to the original. She's extremely cute. I hope that they do more because uh, there have been other outfits throughout the history of Strawberry Shortcake, of course. And I, I have a million dolls with this outfit, you know, I'm exaggerating, but still like, you know, this outfit's been done many times but it is an extremely cute timeless outfit so it's okay um one thing i will say is that i don't like that her hat is satin it's not my preferred material and i think the shine doesn't match with the vibe of strawberry shortcake as much but i can kind of see why they did it i definitely prefer when the hat is more cloth like this they did do a really nice embroidered strawberry here it's on some kind of backing so it's just a little patch it's very very cute whereas this one Oh no, that's also like an ironed on patch. Interesting. I like that this hat is stuffed, by the way. It's really funny. This hat is not stuffed and I did cut it in the back. I recommend you don't do that because if you don't ever plan on changing the outfit on this doll, that'll just make it not ever lay right again. Uh, but I wanted to show you how much hair is on the head. It's more than the original strawberry shortcakes. It's not a lot. So if you're planning to do like hairstyling, not ideal, but you know, she has plenty of hair on her head for a strawberry shortcake doll. It's an extremely soft nylon hair, and there's actually two colors blended in there that make it look really cool. There's an orange in with this red. I think it is really, really cute. And there's what her face looks like up close. Just very, very precious. I love the cheek shape. So, 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 so cute. And then for the outfit, we will be looking at the articulation after this in between the stall and Rainbow Bright. So, outfit is very, you know, faithful, I guess. It's got this little, what would you call this? Is this like a pinafore? I don't know if that word, I, I don't know what that means. Um, but it's like a little apron with a shirt thingy and it's tied in the back, but it can't be removed. I do think on the original it was removable, but I don't honestly remember off the top of my head. And her outfit is also satin, which again, I'm not the biggest fan of that choice of material. I think it works a lot better on Rainbow Bright. Um, and maybe that's why they used it here. I don't know. Uh, but I again, I think all of the shiny elements kind of take away from the overall design of strawberry shortcake i don't know if that makes sense let me know if that makes sense um but yeah it's a it's a good quality piece for a mini doll um there's nothing to be mad at here this potentially could fray over time but for now it seems to be either glued or burned and seems to be okay everything else is hemmed as you would expect it to be and this is a printed satin as well 
and there's a printed material here on this. I thought it would, oh, it is a knit. Okay. It's a two-way stretch knit, it seems to be. It's not stretching as good this way. And then she has the, yeah, that keeps happening. Um, that's a problem with the strawberry shortcake ones, I think, is that the, or it's just a defect with mine, I'm not sure. Um, the tights kind of make the body want to come apart. So that's an interesting thing that's happening. Uh, but anyway, of course, she's got the classic strawberry shortcake, green and white striped tights. So, so cute. And her shoes are not quite the original color, but they are the original style. But they are a totally different sculpt, so they just redid that. I realized that each of these dolls had a different body sculpt, so I was originally going to show you just strawberry because I figured they had the same, but they don't. Um, so I'll get into this more in my final thoughts, but I really thought that one of these was an afterthought based on the fact that they had the license for the other and they were just going to use the same sculpts. So I'm kind of in disbelief that they use every single piece. Is Like, there's no... There's no piece of this sculpt that is reused, even ones that they probably could have, like the feet. So I'm blown away. I'm like the articulation is the same, and it's definitely more themed after action figure articulation, which is what I expected. So anyway, let's see if we can count to 29. Or first I'll just show you the articulation. So they, <laughs> that does happen with my strawberry. Um, the head moves. It does, oh, I was about to say it doesn't tilt. It absolutely does tilt. Okay, that is awesome. I was not expecting that cool and you definitely get some noises with some i don't really mind that but i think some people might so not only is this a joint but then you also have a rotational joint here so those are technically different so we'll count those separately when we get there we have the elbow joint which oh it does hit a right angle okay it hits a right angle there you go um and then you also have the rotational motion which i'm assuming they're counting as a separate joint we have the wrist which pretty good i like that they included that little ball piece there to give it more range then you have the rotational motion here. There's nothing else going on here. There's no up and down or side to side. Um, it's it's fine though. I do wish that this was a little bit tighter because it's just coming right off, but that might just be mine. I'm not sure. Um, but as a kid, that would be really annoying to me. I mean, it is kind of now as an adult, but you know, as a kid that doesn't understand what's going on here, that would be really distressing. Um, then she... <laughs> I think she can hit a sit. We'll find out. Ah, no. Okay. So this is one of my biggest pet peeves with articulation. She cannot hit a like natural sit. She has to straddle. Um, you can kind of push them together, but then she can't actually hit the like right angle that you need to have her balance in a sit. I hate that. Um, it's something that's pretty easily fixable. You just have to carve this joint out. So even I could do it, but it's weird that they didn't. Um, also, you'll notice that there's this sculpted on leotard thing. That is adorable. I was not expecting that. And... It's got little flowers. Isn't that so sweet? And look how weird the double joint is in the knee, by the way. There's these like little thingies. So anyway, that's one of the joints being employed. Um, to get the other one to work, you kind of have to finesse it. There you go. So that's both joints working together so that she can go heel to butt. And then she also has a ankle joint, which is very unusual on dolls. And I will say... I'm not always a fan of an ankle joint. It's fun and it does add a lot. And with these, I've been having fun posing them with their little ankles in different positions. But this was really frustrating because Rainbow Bright's foot got stuck in her shoe. And um, we'll talk about it later, but this is what the paint is kind of supposed to look like. And this one got all crackly because I had to stretch it. See, so yeah, but this foot comes off way too easily. And then this one was on there really good. So I managed to push the joint back into the foot so that I could then pull it out again and now I can't pull the foot off again so I guess we're good. So a lot of people are probably going to want to either check the articulation or change their clothes or something and getting the foot stuck like that as a kid would really distress me. Even now it was hard to get it out of there. I ended up having to wedge a blade under her foot and pop it out. Um, so there's that and I also had put her ankle back in but it wasn't strong enough to fully pull it out of the shoe so... Um, there's definitely some issues there that I think could be polished by the time the next waves come out, if those aren't fully completed yet. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, her head doesn't tilt like strawberries. I suspect it's because there's just no room to do so. It probably has the ability to, but I don't know. Um, I mean, technically it is holding that tilt, so it does have a tilt, so we can count it. And then same articulation as strawberry had. Um, can you do a right angle here? Okay, so she can't because they have, she has a uh, chunkier arms to match with the art style. And then can she sit? Oh, she can sit without straddling as much. 
she does have this ponytail so you do end up having to push her down a little bit more which makes her straddle a bit more i always am baffled by that uh, limitation and then i love the foot joints they work really really well again it's frustrating that the foot came out and caused me that problem immediately genuinely scared me i was like oh god um but it worked out also it's really cool that the dolls can stand so well on their own okay now let's do a count this is one joint i don't know if they're counting the tilt as a separate one we'll see so one two well, two is this, three is the rotating, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, they're probably counting those separately, nine, maybe the rotating is separate, so ten, and then, of course, you have your 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, hmm. Yeah, I'm really struggling to figure out how they got to 29, um, because it doesn't say 29 movement styles or something. It says points of articulation. I would love to see an official count. Okay, let me try again. Let me be, like, really generous. So we have one, two, three, four, <laughs> uh, five. We'll give it the rotation. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's see. I don't think that... <laughs> I don't think that can add up. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I got close, but certainly not 29. I don't know where that number came from. Um, so I think they definitely need to explain that because that's a weird thing to advertise on the box if you didn't have a perfect count. Also, I think what's going on here, though, is probably that action figures have a different way that they count. Because with dolls at least in my experience, you count by, like, this being able to move in general is one. It's not one and two. Or, like, if this could tilt, it wouldn't be one and two. It would just be one joint there. So maybe that's what's going on here. There's something weird, just a difference in terminology, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for the articulation section. I... My biggest criticism here, and probably my biggest criticism in general for these dolls, is that a lot of these joints are coming off very easily, and the solution for that is really that they could have just made them tighter in the first place, and you can do something at home to fix this, not fix it, but like remedy it a little bit, like you can paint clear nail polish on them or something to make them a little bit tighter, but I don't know, that's not something that the consumer should have to be doing, especially when the target consumer, I have to imagine, is at least partially children. So I'm going to redress Rainbow in a bit so that we can get a closer look at her, but first I wanted to show you the quality of the actual clothing. So it's, they're very, or honestly this isn't super simple, like it's pretty solid, uh, but you know there's no like elaborate trims or anything, it's relatively simple, but the construction is very very clean and very very nicely done, and the fit was really nice too as you guys saw. There's the tights, very easy, nothing to mess up there. Um, and then we have Rainbow's outfit, which has a thingy in it. What is this? I don't know. Is this just something they forgot to cut out? I have no idea what that is. Um, she's got a thingy. Um, but anyway, good construction inside as well. There's this batting inside, I guess, to make that a little bit harder. So that's nice that they did that if they felt that it was needed. The little pointed area is really well done, but it is not a trim like it maybe looks like it is just printed on. I don't really mind on a mini doll like this. It looks pretty good. This is also not an actual piece, but again, I don't really mind it. It looks fine to me. You can see these normally look more like an astronaut situation, and they're just printed on here. This I don't like. I wish that they had done something to make these a little bit puffier. Um, and then this little patch, I love this. I'm glad that they did that. And the ribbon is a very nice touch as well. So I'm glad there's at least something three-dimensional because it really does help bring this outfit out and make it not look super flat and awkward. And this is her little skirt piece, by the way. Just so you can see the construction of this as well while we're here. It's super cute. Again, just a printed on trim at the bottom, but you know what? It works. I'm not mad at it. And then you have the trim up here. It's very cute. Very, very cute. And um, I will say... I wish that the sleeves had been more like this, because right now, like this, you don't get that astronaut vibe that Rainbow Bright definitely had going on in her original doll's overall look. I just, I've always thought these were older because my stepmom had one, but I guess she had a reproduction. I'm, I'm like really shaken up about that. Here is our darling Rainbow Bright up close. I love her. I think they really 
nailed the face. Look at it in the show versus here. It's perfect. She looks so good. She is adorable. Um, I know I'm showing a bit of a bias here, but I don't know. Something about the world of Rainbow Bride is very exciting to me. So anyways, moving past her adorable little face, which just get a good look at that. Isn't that so sweet? I love it. I love it. Um, she has these nylon bangs up front, which are really, really well done. They look great. They're not gappy or anything. This one's a bit bent from packaging, but I think it'll fix itself. And yeah, very, very soft hair. Her rubber band is not wanting to keep the hair in very well up here because her hair is this super sleek nylon, which when I try to style nylon hair, that's my biggest problem is that stuff like this happens. So I'm glad to see I am not the only one. Um, but gosh, this is so cute. And I love that this bow actually has this tiny, tiny little star sewn on. It's just really nice attention to detail. That looks very, very cute. And it's accurate. It's accurate. Look at it. Adorable. Adorable. And I also love the little star on her face. So precious. Then the outfit, which we did already kind of look at, but this is what it actually looks like on her. Very, very cute. I think it still somewhat gives off that like sort of astronaut vibe, but you get the puffy shoes, which is correct, but not having the puffy sleeves does a little bit distract. I understand what's going on here because that would have been really hard to do at this budget. I still can't believe how affordable these dolls are, but like, of course they couldn't have done something like this, although this would have been the dream. She does not want to stand up. I swear they stand up really well. It's just not me. Um, They could have done that, something like that. I don't know. I don't know, but regardless, I really like the outfit. I think they did a good job. And then the boots are really, really nice as well. The material that they're made out of might crack paint over time. You can see that I cracked some, but mostly I was sticking scissors in there. So it's kind of on me, but still that, that doesn't seem like a problem that only I'm going to have. So, I mean, I hope so. I hope it's just me, but yeah, not all the details are painted. It honestly seems weird that they didn't paint this detail because the yellow is right here. I feel like that's the same stamp or whatever spray mask you would do the same thing um but that's what is missing the orange and the yellow there but i can paint those on myself i'm not really too pressed about that and wow you know i definitely think rainbow bright has more going on than strawberry did right like her outfit has more detail her she has way more painted detail it's very interesting but i was gonna say something about the accessories but no i think the accessories are really solid too Hmm. especially the skirt. The fact that she comes with an extra outfit piece is like baffling to me. I would not have expected that. So cute. And speaking of that extra outfit piece, um, she can wear it here, I guess. Um, it's a little strange. I think the, the intention is that she would wear it with her little tank top that's under here. So let me show you that. Stop it. She's so cute. Look at her silly little skirt. Oh my God. I love her so much. She's my darling. All right. That is it for this review. We've made it to our final thoughts time. Sorry, I left Rainbow Bright in that outfit. She just looks so cute like that. Um, I wanted to check my sources real quick because I remembered that I have these little fact sheets that they gave me at Sweet Sweet. So this was the information that was available on these dolls in July of last year. So this might still be the MSRP. Walmart might have just had an exclusive deal to have the cheaper ones or something because they are the first to market. I think there, I don't know. Um, but as you can see, they came out a little later than intended and a little bit cheaper. So that's cool. I approve. I, I, for some reason I thought they were 20. I just can't believe how nice these dolls are for the price. Now I definitely have criticisms. My main ones are that some of the joints are a little too loose, which makes the dolls break in your hand. They can be put back together easily, but that is a problem. We also have a uh, minor design nitpicks that I'm not the biggest fan of, like, um, the sleeves, the um, satin usage, not my favorite, but that's kind of just a nitpick, honestly. And then, of course, I think that the articulation count on the box might get them in trouble because they're gonna have to prove that that's 29, I imagine, and it's weird that they would assert that when it's not. They could have just said they were ultra posable. I don't know. I don't know how they're counting those joints. I really tried to give, like, as much room as I can. But again, I do think action figure people are weird. So maybe that's them. I don't know. Maybe it's because that's more of an action figure making company because they have done dolls before. They actually did the four keeps dolls, which look like this. And they were going to do these flower power dolls, which I saw at, I think 
holiday of play or sweet sweet or something one year and I actually really liked those but I don't know I don't think those are coming out anymore which is sad because I actually like those a lot <laughs> um but yeah I am very, very excited to see where these lines go. I'm very curious where the rest of the characters go. It makes me a little nervous that they were all seemingly planned to come out together and they haven't. That it's just these plus that playset strawberry. Um, hopefully the rest of them come out soon. They are shown on the box, so it would be kind of weird if they don't come out for another six months. But you know what? I'll just be happy if they come out because these rock. I still absolutely cannot believe the price. And every gripe that I have, I'm sitting, like, I'm falling back on well. I paid $12.97 for them, so I, I don't know how upset I want to be. I think these are better than some $25 dolls that I've reviewed, like, within the past year. So I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. And I said this earlier, but I really thought one of these was an afterthought because they happened to have the other one. And why I thought that was they had a fairly similar face shape. They're from around the same time period. They have a similar, like, build that they were going for here. I just assumed they would reuse a bunch of things, like reuse the body sculpt, reuse the head sculpt. And I didn't really mind. I was like, that's fine. I even thought things like this would be reused. But it seems like they are two totally separate lines, which makes sense. They're owned by different people, right? Like, they license these from different people. But still, like, I assumed they would have the same body sculpt, but no. Rainbow Bright is, in general, chubbier in her artwork and in the show and the ragdolls and stuff. So they made her a little chubbier. And Strawberry Shortcake is more shaped like a Strawberry Shortcake doll. I don't know. I'm thoroughly impressed. Even the hands are different. They could have been the same, but they're not. Um, I don't know. It is kind of blowing my mind a little bit how much they're giving us for this price. I hope more action figure companies do dolls because I think that's what's going on is action figure companies are used to giving the most in paint quality and articulation and stuff. And of course, they've fallen down in quality a little bit recently, as have dolls. But this is just wow. I'm blown away. I really hope they get a hold of more licenses or bring back some like original IPs that they've done, like the Four Keeps dolls. Imagine if the Four Keeps dolls were this articulated. That would have changed their fate, I think. And the Flower Power dolls were very cool, too. I'm blown away. I didn't know what to expect. I've been very excited about these because I saw them at Toy Fair. I was really excited to get a closer look at them. But um, I didn't know how much I was going to love them when I got them in my hands. But very, very impressed. Oh, a specific nitpick for strawberry only is that the scent is not super strong and I know that's some people's first thing that they want with a strawberry shortcake of course is that they really want that scent and it's not super potent so that's something to keep in mind I don't know if that's just mine or maybe it's just strawberry and the others will be super potent I don't know um but it definitely feels like they were like oh we forgot the scent spray something in there real quick um because <laughs> it's not super obvious you I feel like it was imbibed into the hair or something of the Kenner ones or they did some kind of magical chemical reaction to make the scent be, like, permanent. I don't know how they did that. It's some kind of alchemy. I think literally, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that this is the cutest vinyl doll of, Stra of Rainbow Bright by far. But to be fair, we didn't really have... The the competition was not stiff. Uh, we'll just say that. <laughs> there There's some weirdos in that uh, lineup. Not that mine are the weirdos. There's, there's other weirdos. Um, and Strawberry... I think both are very, very nice. I think it just depends on your taste here. I don't have a specific favorite. I do think I'll have more fun playing with these ones because they are more articulated. And I think the accessories that they come with are super, super fun. But these are not really a replacement for the originals. They're just a new thing, which is very fun. But they definitely are different enough where they don't just feel like, oh, I'm buying the same one again, which is cool. But there's notable differences, right? Like the hair color and stuff. So this feels like kind of a mixture of the original and Bear in the Big City, honestly. Um, which it's very loose with the newer stuff, but it's there. Rainbow Bright, they gave us to something totally new that is based on just the artwork of the show. So it's like they were in the 80s making the Rainbow Bright doll for the first time, right? Because the Rainbow Bright dolls were rag dolls they weren't vinyl dolls like this. And I prefer vinyl dolls. I like rag dolls are cute, but I prefer vinyl dolls. And this, they just nailed it. They never nailed it like this. Like this, this doll is very cute, but she looks absolutely nothing like Rainbow Bright from the show facially or body wise. So she's kind of weird. Um, but this one, they just nailed it. They nailed it. So I'm giving my favorite award to Rainbow Bright. I think Rainbow Bright is the superior one in terms of the fact that this is like an all new, I mean, it's not a design they've created, but like the doll 
It's an all-new doll that they've cooked up. This is also an all-new doll they've cooked up. These are all new sculpts and stuff, but they're heavily based on the original ones. And I just think Rainbow Bright is so much more exciting uh, because of that, because she's just something totally new and something that was sorely needed in the Rainbow Bright world. Because when I tell you the amount of effort I had to get, like, go through to scrounge to find this doll set um, from 2009, and then these two, I never see them for sale, and I, I just can't believe they're not. I, I feel really dumb. I really thought they were older than they are. Um, but this, like, 2003 set are the ones that I specifically want because they're vinyl bodied. But now I don't have to worry about that as much because I have these. Uh, but yeah, let me know which one is your favorite or which franchise you prefer. I don't know. Let's talk about it. I don't really get to talk about these very much. And I love them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!